Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at ray diagrams of diverging lenses. This picture here just shows the type of image that we'll be drawing. Now if you haven't yet watched the video on ray diagrams of converging lenses, please watch that one first, as the most difficult situation that we encountered with the converging lenses is very similar to what we'll see with the diverging lenses. So we have a couple of learning goals here today. You should be able to draw ray diagrams for diverging lenses, and you should be able to describe images produced by diverging lenses. So like what we saw with the converging lenses, it's very difficult for me to draw with the tablet straight lines and perfect angles. So I'll be using an animation to show what I would be drawing on my paper and what you should be drawing on your paper to end up with the proper diagrams. So for our first rule is that if we have an uh, incident light ray traveling parallel to the principal axis, it's going to start at the top of the balloon there, travel parallel to the principal axis, it's going to refract as if it had come from the focus. So this is what that would look like. As if that line had come from the focus, and we can draw a dotted line on the side of the lens to show that it didn't actually come from the focus, but that light ray looks as if it came from the focus, and that's the angle that it will refract from. Our second rule is that an incident light ray that travels through the optical center will continue on in the same direction. And again, we need to draw two arrowheads on that line, one to show the incident ray and one to show the refracted ray traveling in the same line. Now, like all of our other situations, we look at where the light rays cross and where they cross is where the image will be located. Since we have our light rays starting at the top of the balloon, where they cross will be the top of the balloon of the image, so we can draw our picture like that. Now in the object, the string of the balloon goes straight down to the principal axis, so similarly in our image, the string will go straight down to the principal axis. Now if we're gonna describe this image, we would say that it's smaller, that it's upright because they're both facing in the same direction, that it's between um, F and the lens, and that it is a virtual image because it's on the same side of the lens as the original object. So here are the rules written down. I'm not gonna read through these because we've seen them on the animation on the previous page, but if you like them in the notes, please just pause the video and write them down. So let's take another look at our learning goals. Can you draw array diagrams for diverging lenses? And can you describe images produced by diverging lenses? If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please rewatch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.